We are actively poisoning our kids with food from big ag that is that we're spraying with all these pesticides, these chemicals. And if you look at the ingredient list of just a Lunchables box, we, we are basically giving kids the worst thing possible for their metabolism, for their endocrinology. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Guys, they were going to be reacting to why Americans are sicker than ever. Guys, let's go right down to this. There is a, obviously a huge issue in the country with health care prices. Yeah. What do you think is the best way to lower costs for families? The hospitals are gouging prices significantly. We have to try to get at the root cause, which is the food that we are feeding ourselves and our kids. We have to, we have to get to the fact that we are an increasingly sedentary country. We aren't walking enough. We're not exercising enough. And health care costs are exploding because we don't actually address the root cause 20 or 30 years prior. How um, how do we take on those huge food companies? Well, the first thing is we should have a real conversation about banning pesticides in when we're making our food. Um, ultra, ultra processed yeah! food, uh, ultra processed food should not be on the FDA recommended food pyramid. We have a chronic disease epidemic. It's not because our kids are lazier. It's because we are actively poisoning our kids with food from big ag that is that we're spraying with all these pesticides, these chemicals. And if you look at the ingredient list of just a Lunchables box, we, we are basically giving kids the worst thing possible for their metabolism, for their endocrinology. So that I, I'm more interested in a healthcare conversation that tries to make sure that a 12 year old doesn't have to get on Ozembic by the time they're 18 years old. And just so you know, they're giving pediatric Ozembic now for 12 and 13 year olds. They are, they are now treating obesity as a genetic disorder that you cannot do anything about. And they just want a 12 year old to now have to take a shot every week to try to curb their obesity, which has all other sorts of very, very negative health implications. Every so um, every day yeah. potentially, right? And so, so how do we solve that? Well, my personal crusade, we have to blow up the food pyramid that we have way too many carbohydrates in our diet, not enough healthy fats and not enough protein. Whoever made that was obviously bought by the big ag companies. And you should just say, I'm not going to have any more high fructose corn syrup. I'm not going to have any more processed sugars. And if there are ingredients I can't pronounce, I should resist it. And you'll be a lot healthier because of it. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, briefly, I totally agree with this. I feel like a lot of food that have been like, processed today and brought to us, like, we don't even know. First of all, many people are on this table that I'm about to bring out. Like, how many people, or rather, how many of you check the ingredients of what you're about to eat before eating it? We just go to a store, go to a convenience store, and then we see this thing, and then we buy it because it looks nice and you love to try it you don't even check the ingredients you don't nothing you just consume you just eat it like literally uh when i was in um primary five i think primary five yeah i my lecturer you know teacher at the time teacher my teacher taught me that when you buy bread you should check for i think it's free brunade or something like the something she said is supposed to be they're supposed to write it on the rubber on the letter of the bread so ever since that time whenever i get bread i always check for that thing if i don't see it i'm not buying that bread i'm not going to eat it now this is me taking a step to to start feeding more healthy like people i, I feel like even for kids when it comes to kids children need a lot of protein and you giving them a lot of carbohydrates without vitamins without protein to take in it's just gonna affect their their system it's like not good for them so i feel like people should be more keen to trying to eat and live healthy rather than you just go you buy this because you're hungry and you eat it people should be more 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 enlightened on how to stay away from you see processed food it's not bad though it's not bad but at the same time it's also not too like you getting something that you don't know about like okay a new product just came into town it, it looks nice it looks attractive try to see what the ingredients are is it good for you there are some there are some snacks we get for kids that have way too much cholesterol in it it's not it's not healthy i mean like 
if you're looking at children, children should take more of protein rather than more carbohydrates, more of protein, vitamins. It would really help them. But guys, like talking about food, talking about food is like everywhere. Even when it comes down to drinks, we go, we get um all these gushers drinks. They're also not good. They're not good. I saw the way a company made their drinks, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god. Like people really don't know what they take into their system these days. They just go, they get it, and then boom you fall sick and then you think it's your environment it's the food you have been taking in it's the food it's what you're eating what you're taking to your system so please people should be more more keen to knowing more about what they are eating rather than just working out you're hungry you get whatever you see and then you eat because it may not be healthy for you but guys this was this was educating so please do more to try to live and eat healthy and don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel i love you guys